Hi you guys, it's Maya here. I know I just posted a video yesterday, but the video was recorded on Saturday, so almost a whole week ago. I just hadn't had a chance to post it until yesterday night. Uh, this is me and my uh, stern librarian look. <laughs> That's what it looks like to me now that I see it on camera. Um, yeah, the thing is, you know, we've been working at the house um, until very well late at night, especially if you're working like full time. We've been working till like 10.30 uh, every day and then generally speaking I have some sort of gawk on my hair like break dust or god knows what or, or suit. Yeah, suit. Um, and then I wash my hair at night and I have long curly or wavy hair. I wash it, I kind of dry it because I hate going to bed with wet hair and then I wake up in the morning and I am Diana Ross so I have to put it up because otherwise I just can't live with myself so anywho uh, so uh, I had mentioned last week that um, it was our anniversary and first of all I just wanted to share this with you guys because I am just oh, my husband is the best <laughs> uh, so I mentioned that we had uh, the wedding on uh, Saturday and we went and it was loads of fun uh, these are two this is this is my husband's oldest friend who got married to his girlfriend of eight years they've been together almost as long as we have so it was really nice to be there for them and while their wedding concept was so incredibly different from what we did uh, it was just really nice to be there for them and to see them so happy. So it was a great, great time. We got home at like 5.30 in the morning on the Saturday, or uh, on Sunday, I guess, already. So yeah, it was it was a late, it was, you know, the kind of night that is so late that it's uh, early again. And uh, But it was a great, great time. And uh, yeah, so we, we came home and then, of course, we went to, I was in bed after I took all the makeup and off at, at six in the morning and then yeah just you know fell asleep and I woke up around one and I, I woke up because I heard music coming from downstairs and it was our wedding song song it's um come away with me from Nora Jones it's what we uh it's our song so I was like okay and uh, I've mentioned before we have no doors. Like our, we have a, a an attic bedroom. It's, but the stairs from the to go to the bedroom bedroom are in the living room. So there is no door there. If if there's music being played in the living room, it's might as well be be played in my room because I hear it very very well. So I was like, okay. So I turned around. My husband wasn't in bed. I was like, okay. So I came downstairs. And sure enough, he was playing our song to get me out of bed. And uh, I came downstairs and he had lit candles and breakfast was served. And he had gone already to the flower market and he had gotten me 50 white tulips, which is one of my favorite flowers. Here they are, they're kind of like sad looking right now because they've been here for a while. There's only a few of them. Um, a bunch of them, a bunch of the other ones, I have a vase. Two vases in the in the living room that are also full of tulips. So that was just like wow, and uh, yeah. So that was a great start to my day. He got up early and got this all set up. And for me, that's the most mean meaningful thing, you know. Um, when some when something like that, even if it's a small gesture, uh, proves to you that somebody was thinking about you. That uh, it's just melted me from like it was just great. So okay, and then. Uh, he was afraid that I would wake up while he was gone, so he had left me a little note. Um, and the note said, will you uh, pack a little bag of toiletries and uh, PJs for tonight because we're going somewhere uh, locally, he said. So, but he didn't want to tell me what it was, so he had an evening planned as well. So then after breakfast, we got ready, we went to the house, <laughs> laid some more pipe. <laughs> And then at around uh, 5.30 we stopped, or 6, we stopped, and um, I came home, quickly changed, and then we went up to dinner to uh, an Asian place, which I really liked. And while we were having dinner, he said, well, we were still going to the movies as well, and that it was within the theme. So joking around, I said, uh, so what, you're taking me to watch like a kung fu movie? And uh, he said, yeah. So I then 
you know, wheels started turning, and then we went to watch Kung Fu Panda, uh, which to a lot of people sounds silly that grown-ups would, but it was just such a good movie. It was just really, really cool, and just, he had bought the tickets, like, last week, or the week before, and so this, there was all this thought put into it, and I was just blown away. And then he had also booked us a night at a better breakfast here in town, really, really close by to the, to the movie theater where we went, um, and it was just for the night, and it was here in town, but just the fact that it was somewhere away from home, and it was this luxurious room, you know, with a, with a, uh, it was gorgeous, from a decorator, uh, it was, it's owned by a decorator, so uh, he picked that specially because I am very into decorating, and the room was just gorgeous, and so much detail, and then we took a late bath, you know, just the both of us in just this very posh, not a style that I would pick for myself, but it was just very nice. And then we woke up, well, got to sleep in uh, a bit. We slept until quarter to nine or something. And then breakfast was brought to our door. And it was just, ah, uh, I was, I was sold. I was sold. Uh, <laughs> so great anniversary plans. Uh, so much for me thinking that the guy had nothing planned. Um, so yeah, it was great. Okay, so moving on to some TTC stuff. Um... Okay, so I am 10 DPO today, and I, so this is cycle day 25, if I'm not mistaken. I think not, because I checked today. So this is cycle day 25, and uh, I haven't had any, I know that I have laid it late, so I was not surprised when, I mean, I haven't felt any soreness in the breast area at all. Um, in previous cycles, uh, like 25, 26 day cycles, I already start getting some soreness in like 4 DPO or 5 DPO. But this time it was like 7 DPO when I started feeling it. So I was like, but it, I'm not surprised because I know that I ovulated later than... So I know that this cycle is more than likely going to be... If, if AF does show up, it's going to be like more like a 27, 28 day cycle. I know that much. Um... I'm sticking to my guns. I am not testing. Uh, I don't have any symptoms to speak of. I have had some, you know, lower abdominal twinges kind of thing, but I felt this before and it, nothing has come out of it. So I just, I just think you're more aware of it when you know that you're in the two week wait. But I wonder in the first two, two weeks of my cycle, whether I mean, these things probably happen. I just, they don't register. Um, so yeah, I what I don't want, and I have already told my husband, like, if there's anything to tell you, I will tell you, just don't ask. But he now knows, like, it's been almost two weeks, and he starts wondering, like, shouldn't you be, you know, getting your period? And uh, <laughs> and I don't, I don't like that. It, it stresses me out. Um, but a great way, great way to have the two-week wait go by really, really fast is if you're rebuilding. <laughs> uh, and if you're doing it everything, doing everything yourself, and if you have plasters showing up in two weeks, two weeks, people, two weeks, um, we still have to lay electricity. Like we have barely just got started, um, and I am a little bit freaking out because uh, tomorrow there is another couple of friends of ours who are getting married, and the bachelorette party, but it's a co-ed. Because actually, I know the bride through my husband, so he's coming as well. And it's tomorrow. And okay, granted, it starts at 5 in the afternoon. Uh, so we can work all day. But the thing is, these days, we're working through till like, the sun sets. Honestly, we need to. We have to. And uh, just losing those five hours is so stressful, especially because, you know, it's going to go late. And then that means we eat up. Uh, working time on Sunday and it's just stressful because this is pretty much our almost our last weekend because we are going to London next Saturday and that's just scary man um, really scary especially because we don't know how long this is gonna take exactly we are working our fingers to the bone seriously I have no regret I'm really happy that we're doing this just some days um, I was particularly hormonal on Wednesday night uh, could be PMS, more than that, I don't know, it just, you know, when you just are being a little bit touchier than you're supposed to be, and, uh, when you combine that with, uh, both, with both of us being tired, just, we had a little bit of a, 
spat, but um, well, happens. Um, so yeah, um, and I'm kind of freaking out about that. Uh, so we're going to London and then we come back on the Wednesday, uh, very early in the morning. So we'll be here back in town, um, by like 9.30 on Wednesday. It's, it's really, well, London is not that far away. And, uh, so we can work all of Wednesday. And originally I had only taken off that week until Wednesday, but now I asked for Thursday and Friday off too, because, uh, that way if we're really, really behind and we need to really push through, we can work for five days straight because, uh, the plasters, I think I said this before, they're showing up on the 4th of July. So, yeah, that's it. It's It's been uh, it's been crazy. And thanks to that, I have not been obsessing about my TTC charts and symptoms. And So, that's a plus, the plus side, I guess. All right, my computer's telling me that my battery is about to die and I have run out of things to tell you guys. So that is perfect timing. Have a great weekend. I will post this right now so that you don't have to wait another week. And um, if there's anything to tell between now and next Friday, I'll be sure to let you know. Okay, you guys. Bye-bye. Um,